Our story today is called Harold Loves His Woolly Hat. Harold loves to wear his woolly hat. Even in the summertime, he wears it when he goes to school. He wears it when he goes to sleep. Harold even wears his woolly hat when he takes his monthly bath. When Harold wears his woolly hat, he knows he is a special bear different from all the other bears. Then one day, a crow swoops down and steals Harold's woolly hat. Now I look just like all the other bears, thinks Harold. How will anyone know that I am a very special bear? Harold has to win back his woolly hat. He gathers up some wriggly worms and says to the crow, let's trade. The crow swoops down and takes the worms and flies them to his nest. Now please give me back my woolly hat, shouts Harold. But the crow only replies, caca, caca. So Harold tries to make another trade. Ah, uh, here are some tasty blueberries for you. The crow swoops down and takes the berries and flies them to his nest. Now please give me back my woolly hat. And the crow just replies, caca, caca. What a greedy little crow, growls Harold. I'll never win back my woolly hat. Then he remembers his secret collection of shiny things. Here you go, you mean old crow. I've got the perfect trade for you. The crow swoops down and takes the things and flies them to its nest. Now will you give me back my woolly hat? Once more, the crow only replies, caca, caca. There's just one thing left for Harold to do. He hides behind a rock and waits until the crow flies away. Then he sneaks over to the tree, climbs up, 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 up to the tippy top and sees three baby crows. Harold tucks the crows in tight, then quietly climbs down from the nest. Even without my woolly hat, he whispers, I am still a very special bear, a helpful bear named Harold. And that is the end of our story. Seems like the little baby crows like that hat also. Thanks for joining me today.